Welcome back to the last episode in the ticket series where we're going to be making it so the bot will work in every single guild by adding database. Without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Alright, here I am in my tickets channel, or sorry, Visual Studio Code. And what I'm going to start off by doing is I'm actually going to start off by creating a new file, which is called tickets.db. So if I do tickets.db, we're not going to put anything in it. We're just going to call it tickets.db and we're not going to do anything with it anymore. So there we go. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go down here to our bot. And over here, we're gonna in create ticket. We're gonna pass in self, and then up top here, in create ticket, we're gonna also do bot, and then self dot bot. I'll make equals bot. Simple as that. And all the way down here. By this part, we're also gonna pass in bot. All right. So now that that's done, what we wanna do is we wanna over here. We're gonna import AIO SQLite because that's the database I'll be using and then we're gonna actually create it so first we're gonna do self sorry about that first what we're gonna do is self.db equals await AIO SQLite dot connect tickets db then what we can do is async with self dot db dot cursor now the reason we're doing self is because it's in the bot class so that's why everywhere else we're just going to use bot but because we're in the bot class we're going to need to use self if we want to refer to bot and then after we open this up what we can do or put inside of it i guess is await cursor.execute and we're just going to create a table if it doesn't exist so create table if not exists and it's going to be called roles and then we're going to have two things in here which is going to be role which is going to be stored as an integer and then we're also going to have killed which is going to be stored as an integer and then that's it and then we can even send a print statement saying database ready okay now that we have that what we can do is we can work on a command kind of like set up tickets so over here we can just copy and paste this and then we can set this up so set up role and then we're gonna have a role variable which is going to equal to next code dot role. And then we can do await with bot dot db dot cursor as cursor. So cursor as cursor. So now that we have that open, what we can do is we can actually select a role to check, I guess, if there is a role. So I can do something like select role from roles where guild and then like this so after this what we can do is and by the way instead of await sorry this should be async apologies and then we can just call it role 2 equals await cursor dot fetch one now if role 2 exists then we can do await cursor dot execute and we're just going to update rules so update rules set role to question mark where guild is question mark and then role id and then ctx dot guild dot id and then we can even send a confirmation message saying ctx dot send tickets auto assigned role updated But then let's say that doesn't exist, then we can do await cursor to execute and instead of selecting actually we're going to insert into rules values and then we can define the values here. 
and then we can just specify that so role id and it's the same thing ctx.go.id and then we can just literally copy paste this in and say added instead and then lastly what we want to do is we just want to commit everything so await cursor or bot.db.commit like so and that's basically it we're done with the setup role so now all we have left is this now what we want to do up here is this needs to be indented but what we want to do up here is we want to change this so what i'm going to do is i'm going to grab this pre-existing code that we already wrote and go back up here and just paste it in there so inside the create ticket of course so like that and then over here we just want to make sure it's interaction.guild and not ctx.guild and then self.bot.cursor because of it right here now that we have that what we can do is we're going to check so same thing here row equals await cursor.fetch1 now if row then what we want to do is you want to just grab this roll over lights and copy and paste it in here the entire thing and instead of get roll we're just going to do roll and then zero because it's a tuple and then we can do else for say it doesn't exist once again same thing copy and paste it and this time we just get rid of this entirely and that's basically it that's literally it so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna hop into the discord and we're actually gonna test it out yeah, yeah. basically what we're gonna do we're just gonna do help make sure the bots online and we're gonna do setup underscore tickets so now we can create a ticket and right now we have nothing in our database so when i create the ticket we shouldn't have any helpers up here right they are only bots that have administrator access or access to every single channel and so over here this is it we only see bots now what i can do is i can close the ticket and then i can go back here and you can see that it's basically the same so i can actually set up a role. set up underscore role and then i can ping whatever role i can also use role id so let's say i want the helper role all right helper there we go and then click enter and it'll say tickets auto sign role added if i click create ticket now you will see that now i have a list of helpers these are the helpers that are online see they all have the helper role and now they're all added and that's basically it anyways that's gonna be it for today's video i really hope you enjoyed and until next time close to go see ya